New car, new day. It's now day two, but it's actually uh, quarter to two in the morning. Still recharging uh, uh, batteries, so I'll put another battery. I'll get two charged then for tomorrow. That should be enough, I hope. It's a little nippy. It's plus seven. I checked on the Tatma. So, uh, anyway, turn you off. Just formatted this card, so I've down one SD card on the GoPro already. 64 gigabyte cards that <coughs> last quite a long a bit, about an hour and a quarter. Uh, so, uh, anyway, still light outside, getting lighter. Amazing. A little nippy. The sleeping bag's good enough, though. Just sleeping in my underwear, but I've got three layers on top. And I brought a luwe, which is just as well, because my head is was getting a bit cold. Just a thin one. And I bought a shemag. And a bandana. Anyway. So... Eight in the morning. This is charged, so I get charged on my last GoPro battery. Let's see outside. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep anymore. I may as well get up and make coffee. Uh, I really need three or four more hours sleep, though. I should really sleep until twelve. Uh, so I'm just gonna lie here for a bit, though. First, I'll dig out the other GoPro. Well, morning. Uh, uh, that's cold. It's plus five. Plus six now, maybe it's about five to eight. I slept two hours. I, uh, uh, there's a bit of condensation there. See how that does. There we go. Uh, Fell asleep at about 3.34, I was still awake then anyway, and slept fitfully on and off, freezing in fetal position, because I went to bed cold, and I had a few spoonfuls of dinner, because it was so bad, I should have made another dinner, and I'd had a few beers, four, so I don't need that many tonight. Anyway, that sucked. So, I'm awake now and it's so bright and the sun's up, I don't think I can sleep anymore. I should really sleep until 10 or 12, but I think I'll get up now. I'm just gonna lie here for a little bit until the sun warms things up a bit. <clears throat> it's gonna be 20 degrees, I think. So it's forecast nice and warm weather today, but this morning is snippy. I should have brought long underwear. My legs were cold. The sleeping bag is, unless you go to bed really warm, the sleeping bag is really only good <coughs> plus 10. <coughs> so, it says plus 8 here now, but I can look at the map. Someone has a weather station nearby. Oh no, that's the rain map. Let's look at Natatma. Someone has Natatma right here. Plus six. Yeah. I think that's the Kurdal Fjellstorva, hasn't it? Oh no, someone else does. There's three of them right here. They're really popular in Norway. I have one as well. I can look at uh, plus ten in Bergen. In my place. But it's uh, plus 22 inside. <laughs> and I don't even have the heating on. So that's what I've been sleeping in recently. So I'm not used to the cold. So, anyway. Uh, I'm just going to lie and try and warm up. Uh, look outside. Uh. 
so anyway that's just focusing on the mosquito net and then I'll slowly make a coffee and then head to the shops I have to pick up one beer that's enough a water or two or one water I think a big water soda water or just a plain water and some wet wipes for my hands for when I I'm probably gonna have to take a really runny dump this morning from that chili con carne last night just the five spoonfuls still feel like they're going straight through me and my GoPros are taking forever to charge so uh, anyway I'm gonna lie here for a bit and try and warm up turn you off well, it's boiling hot in the air. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep, but I need a snooze. 12.40. That's a freaking tick. God damn it. I don't want that here. That's no good. Might have known it. Squashed him. He had blood in him too. Probably my blood. So i got to watch out for ticks. That's disappointing. I didn't think there'd be ticks here. Anyway. Got him. He had a bit of blood, my blood. So it's boiling in here, so I don't know about sleeping, but I'm gonna try. Ah, oh, I could take the mattress out, but then I'll be covered in ticks. My big battery's already dead. It looks like, oh no, I just can't read the 82%, 80%, that's fine. So, power snooze. All right, good night. Well, it's perfect weather, not a cloud, it's cold, down in the mic on, there's the abortion, I put the rods inside just in case, but if someone comes and they want to take shit, they'll just take it, I'm exhausted, I was two hours sleep, I fell asleep at 3.34, then I was up every half hour to crawl into fetal position, I was freezing because I went to bed cold and I had no dinner really. Four, four, four tablespoons of terrible, terrible dinner. I think it was off. So at least I'm not sick. I had very loose bowels this morning though. I had to run out in the bush. So I'll bring the camera along so we can show you the shop. I'm curious how that is. I gotta get cruising. It's almost 10 o'clock. I just lay in the tent for an hour trying to sleep and no luck. So I may have to take an afternoon snooze. I don't know if I'm fishing today even. I'm so tired. But I do have to go to the shops. So chips, beer, water, socks, and wet wipes. Or disinfectant for when I go to the toilet. Uh, I'll bring the camera and then the little bag. I've had my coffee, that took half an hour. So, anyway, it is where it is. I'll just snap a few photos. So it's very pretty. Walk slowly. I'm not feeling shit hot. There's that little creek, side creek. Maybe there's fish there. Anyway, I have to take a snooze when I get back for sure. At least a couple hours. I won't be fishing until one or two. Well, that's too bad. It's always like that on the first day. I always have a few too many beers, get to bed late, sleep badly. Without fail, happens every time. Go to bed early tonight. At least I didn't sleep until 12, but it would have felt a lot better if I had. Anyway. So. That's weightable. There. Pretty rough. Too deep on the other end to wade. I think. 
I'm glad the shop's not too far, but I do have to bushwhack and go up these hills, which is a pain. Anyway, all right, I have to go up this hill, put you away. So that's a nice looking hole there by that boulder and some nice looking seams. That far bank looks good. Not really weightable. A bit too deep. And then up here it's all white water. Very pretty but no fishing. And it gets pretty deep down there. That's taller than me. That's two meters. So this part isn't really, apart from that far bank, isn't really too fishable. Far bank looks good though. Uh, anyway. Alright, I think I'm just fishing my local today. Anyway, alright. Well, it's quite a good bridge. And it's, wouldn't want to go in here, you'd drown. That's really rough. So, uh, uh, anyway, bench is very useful. And here's the problem, there's no trails. There's a goat trail up that way. No sign. A goat trail there and a goat trail, well just a goat trail there. And then it disappears through the marsh. So, zero signposting, zero proper trails. So I have to bushwhack. I really struggled yesterday. There are some signs there, but I'm not sure what they are for. That's not where the bua is. The yuk, the snar ship. <clears throat> Lots of ant hills. It's really warming up. I can almost get a t-shirt soon. So far the child's are right. And then nada. So it splits here. And then goes there. But we go this way. And here the trail disappears. No, it doesn't. It disappears up here. And then it's bushwhacking in through someone's backyard. <sighs> Going very slowly, one mile an hour. Four kilometers something. <sighs> anyway, go the way I came yesterday. So the trail is splits here, left to the marsh, and then the main trail seems to go up this way. There's even a pole. Someone put a plank down. It's getting hot. Maybe t-shirt weather today. You're gonna be hot in those waders. So, so far so good, then up here, disappears. It's 
so splits we want to go right left I think goes to that cabin I have to carry everything to that cabin through the bush Puffing. And here it gets lost. It looks like this is it. Footprints. It's a ways. I didn't time it, but I left around 10. A little after. And now where does it go? Over there. I think. And this is where it's bushwhacking more or less. Trail just disappears. I have to go around this shit. Huh. Alright. No one a plumper. Been wet. Footprint could have been mine though. Okay. So here's a trail. This is it. And that was tricky finding. I missed it yesterday. I went that way through that farmhouse. And there's Gordalfjellstove and Snar ship. This was not signposted at all. Time is it? It's quarter past ten, so that's about twenty minutes. It's not too bad. Where is this going? To the road? I don't want to go here. Keep following it a bit. to this cabin. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh. Good grief. This is the main trail though. Oh, oh. I've got a little red tape oh no it disappears Alright, so uh, uh, no signs. There's red tape there though. Anyway, red tape there, at least it's something. Uh, Alright, I'll put you away. So the entrance has got to be around the other side. It's not a ship. Went 
where the entrance is. Just here. You're supposed to use a key card to get in. I think. How do you get in? Up on court. Ja, det funker veldig bra. Og det er rød. Hanse da. Hadde de pølser? Det er store spørsmål. Ja, de har pølser. Bra her altså. Får komme tilbake. På i morgen kanskje. Supert. Så bra. Og det er tobakk. Det tar jeg med da. Ok. Ja, det var det. Fikk hjelp av eieren. Ja, det var det. Smart. Bare låse seg inn med bankkortet til hva det hjelper hvis du skal gjøre. Spørsmålet om det er røyk, det vet jeg ikke. Jeg glemte å spørre. Veldig greit. Da er det chips og vann og øl. Du, unnskyld. Selger dere røyk? Ja. Ok, jeg har, men så jeg vet. Ja. Så bra, takk så mye. De selger røyk. Starting to feel better. 1267 to overnight time. Nice lady. Bit quiet there right now. Of course, it's a Monday. But it is holidays. Anyway, you gotta be a local to find the trail. For sure. So you've seen it, so I'm not filming on the way down. And then I'm going to have another coffee, do the rods, have some breakfast. Uh, I needed help to figure out the system. Anyway. I have to put a belt on. These pants are falling down halfway down my ass. So the just a ribbon to show I have to tie my shoelaces. Show where the trail goes. So a sign would have been good. Anyway, found the trail. Alright, put you away. Oh got shit hanging everywhere. So that took it's ten fifty. That took fifty minutes. Two to two, start to finish. That's pretty good, including a guided tour of the shop. And then you had to help me get into the shop. You had to swipe your card. I didn't see the card reader. Uh, and then she had to check my ID. She didn't. She assumed I was old enough, which I am, 53. <laughs> For the beer. And have cigarettes. I forgot uh, potato salad. I'm not sure they had any. I had leverkuste and sausage. I didn't see an ingangsgrill, but there was another room I didn't check. So they might have had ingangsgrill. I don't know. But I'm used, I'm not gonna bother dragging that down because then I have to take all that trash back. As it is, I hope that's not a horse fly. Shit. Uh, as it is, I have to, uh, it's annoying, take quite a bit of trash back with me. I didn't see a punter machine. I'm not sure she has one. I don't think she has one. Maybe. 
I did, I did forgot to check that too. That was stupid. But anyway, I'll just chuck it in the trash on the way back. There's a parking lot with uh, dumpsters and trash bins and so on. I'll have to do two trips on the way up because it's too heavy to take it all at once. Uh, so I'm going to put the beer in the, fri in the fridge in the, in the river, make sure it doesn't float away, have a coffee, and then start doing up my fly rods and I'll be fishing by about one o'clock. That is if I don't take a snooze. So, wow, I hope that wasn't a horse fly. They really sting, whoa. Ah, shit. Anyway, all right. Beer in the in the river. Well, rods are done. It's 12.30. I just spent an hour, more or less, setting up the rods, 45 minutes. I had lunch, I had no coffee. I need a power snooze very badly. So I won't be fishing until 2 or 3. I need at least an hour's snooze. But... Show you the rods we have on the right one trout spay rod 11 feet uh, four weight uh, three weight so plus one trout spay reel we purchased that one and this is a brand new one say GSN euro nymphing rod with one euro nymphing reel I've set it up with, that's a very long leader, I probably need to shorten that. Some kind of beaded nymph on the bottom, tungsten bead, and an unweighted, looks like a caddis nymph in the middle. And then my ancient Sage ZXL with a no-name reel from eBay, just with an elk hair caddis, the only elk hair caddis I could tie on because my fly tying so bad I can't get the tippet through the hook so that's a problem anyway so I have to take a snooze I'm shattered I see all the shit is spread out it's perfect weather but I really need a snooze badly so, uh, an hour lie down, and it's going to be hot in the tent, and I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep, so we'll find out. Anyway, put you away, I think I'm just crossing over to the island and fishing there. I don't think it's weightable getting across there to the middle. It's too deep and too rough. So, I may have to walk all the way down and fish way further down past the bend to be able to wade. Uh, the river is really rough, a lot of water. Anyway, wow, well, what a mess. It's three o'clock, five past three. I fell asleep at 1.30 and passed out completely like a light, even though it's boiling hot in there, right until three o'clock. So uh, I feel a lot better, I really need that. So I'm gonna get my waders on. I have to fix my wading shoes, put on uh, felt soles, and then just won't even take my rods. But just explore the island if I can get over there without going in the drink. It's fairly deep, so I hope it's not up to my waist. Just explore that. If I can fish the other side, I'm not sure see how what it looks like I'll just take the GoPro and then I'll come back for a fishing rod and I still have to do some droning did bring the drone dragged it all the way out here anyway well I'm just gonna explore that island uh, it looks like I didn't record I'm just gonna wait over with just the GoPro no rods see what it looks like, see if it's fishable on the other side. I don't know how rough it is or not. To see whether I can get to the middle there, those, uh, that uh, shallow bit there, that would be good. So I have to put on some uh, 
felt soles on the corker on the wedding shoes. Uh, anyway, I'll put you away. All right, it is quite deep. So a shallow bit to get into, but it could be up to my waist. Here's too deep. No, here's fine. Deep it is. We go up it's a bit deeper. It's a bit deeper there, that's too deep. The middle is a little deep. Deeper than it looks. Go across there downstream. There's one deep up there, it's a deep hole. I think the uh, easiest is to go up. And it may be up to my waist, but we'll see. Oh, uh, uh, I think it's going to be fine. Oops. So. Question is this side. What does it look like? Good account here. Not very practical. Oh, it looks rough and deep. Not wettable. Hang on. All right. Yeah. So I can wait there, no problem. That side's no good, but here it's fine. And I can wait right across to that island. Looks like a nice run, pretty rough. Just bring the uh, You're in fraud. Well, I'll bring the net, but I won't rig it up yet. Just throw it in my backpack for now until I start really waiting. And then I got my vest and my net and a little bungee cord. I haven't tried that out yet. Could try and just stick it in my belt, that's another option. Uh, anyway, but uh, I won't film going over. Because I just filmed that two minutes ago. So, away you go. So, I made it over, almost slipped. So, I may end up going for a drink today. In the drink. Wow, it's rough over there. Huh. No going in there. But it's fairly calm. And I can just cast in the shallows there. Uh, should be fine. So time to set up the tripod and I'll film for a little bit, who knows, I might even catch a fish. That would be something, wouldn't it? Not bringing the net, I'll just drag it in to the shore to actually catch a fish. Anyway. Alright, I don't know if you can hear me above the river, but uh, I'm just waiting down there. I need a slug of water. I think dry fly was out when it's this rough. Nymphing is the way to go. Even uh, 
trout spay would be hard with this streamer or zonker. So, uh, I don't know. Start there, work my way up. Seam there is what they call it. Slightly slower. Slug of water.
damn it, I'm going to lose two flowers now. Unbelievable. How's this happening to me? There we go. So, I lost my point fly. It's alright, I have to shorten the tippet anyway, I'm snagging. It's not so easy casting. Totally different from uh, normal fly casting. So I'll turn you off and then uh, I'll keep fishing that deep riffle. Space. I forgot to bring my fishing bag with the flies in it. So I have to go all the way back, wait across and get them. Stupid. I think I'm gonna fish with just one fly. Keeps tangling. So too complicated with two. Uh, for sure. Anyway. All right, I'll try again. This is the fly we're using. Little green and brown jobby. Anyway. I think it's uh, much easier with one fly. So make sure you're focused. nothing there. I'm going to uh, shorten my tip it drastically and push these shallows along there. So
Nothing. Oh well. Uh, well. Nothing. I can't. I'm not. This is my first time doing it, so. Uh, not easy. Uh, I'm not. I could. May have had some bites, who knows? I have to wait until I feel it. And I'm not going to be able to see it in this current. It's too rough. So we're going to head up that way. It's very shallow there, but that's fine. I can wait at least. It's too deep to wait across and too rough. I could wait to the island and fish down that way. Uh, don't feel like it. You really want to be waiting upstream. So time to pack up and move to the tip of the island, I guess. All right. Well, I'm going to go back to the camp and then go up the trail, I think. Because this is uh, a bit sketchy wading here. Much easier to wade from just over there. So, I have to, I'm not unpacking the tripod, so I don't fall in, I guess. Anyway, but this riffle right there looks nice. And it's waitable. And then there's that riffle up there, which looks alright. So, uh, anyway, I'm not sure I feel like going in the middle of the river. That's a bit too sketchy. But I have to cross back over again. Anyway, alright, right out there a bit. I'm just about out of battery. Uh, oh, it's out of battery. All right, turns out. Well, I only have two batteries, so that means I'm charging a battery tonight. I yeah, went through two today. One, whole one today. That's surprising. So I just wait out there and cast into that riffle, and then come back. Then wait out here and cast up there in that riffle. I think. Probably tromping right through trout right here in this pool though. And then looks very shallow. I think it's waitable. I can go out to the middle a bit. We'll see.
Oh, that one's striking out, so I'll try that way. Gotta move the camera, turn it off first. to move again. Well, that uh, run on the other side looks very tempting, but after have to cross the old river. Which is a little sketch here, I might go for a bit. What I'll do is I'll try this little, this little riffle here. Maybe there's something hiding, I doubt it. It looks very shallow. But you never know. This is the beer chewing spot. Another plan of action. As I'm striking out, and this seems a bit too shallow and not very fishy. So I'll try this riffle and then maybe head back to camp and uh, figure out another plan. It's almost clear of pop, isn't it?
All right, I have to turn you off. I'm going to uh, see what it's like crossing the river. I hope it's not too deep. Uh, some parts that look like they could be a bit deep. It's really hard to tell. It looks shallow though. In here. So, uh, wish me luck. I want to go for a swim. And be bad. Well, I'm not fishless. He caught one this big. He flew off the hook when I pulled the rod. Flew right off the hook into the air. He's so small. Still, it's a fish. So I head back to camp. I got halfway across the river and then they got a bit deep and strong. Could have gone further, but there's only fiddlers. So, so I head back to camp and regroup. And I think I'm at head down the river. But it's getting, I don't, I don't want to be too late. I want to be in bed early by nine or something, or 10. Uh, and it's nice to chill with the beer when it's cold. I could do some drunk droning. I still have to drone. And the batteries are discharging the whole time. So, uh, I'll maybe call it a day. Fished for two and a half hours. But I got to, I figured out the, the Euronymph rod, how it works, more or less. It's pretty good. A good way of nymphing. And of course, your reach is only as long as the rod, a little bit further. Rod length and a half, maybe. And it's very different from uh, casting a fly line, that's for sure. It's just a thin piece of monofilament. So, I mean, it works really well. I think the five, I have a five weight, which I bought first, until I have to sell, because unless I'm going to urine them for ocean trout, that's too heavy, but I don't think I'll find any buyers. Sage doesn't even make the five weight anymore. And it's just too heavy. Even the full weight is really too heavy. Two weight for these small fish and small rivers. It's just right. Perfect. Very sensitive. All right, I get to trek back to camp and figure out what I'm going to do. Yep, off with you. I have to charge another camera battery to get that charging. All right. So I can either call it a day and do some droning, which would be fun, and then have a cold beer and early to bed. If I have a later day, trek all the way down that way until I said to see what's fishable or a couple kilometers. Uh, and then I'd bring the spay rod too. Uh, I think because I don't think that section down there it's very deep along the bank I don't think that's really weightable I'm uh, more or less recovered from that terrible night uh, so I'm gonna start charging a battery though so I have to unpack anyway I'll let you know and then I just carry the tripod and camera as is. And it's pretty open here. So I, not too many bushes. It weighs a bit though. Anyway. So, exploring. I don't know how far I'll go, but uh, a little ways anyway, a kilometer. Uh, I could pack away the camera, but I'm not going to. No way I can set it up quickly. Uh, bring the spay rod this time. I like to do some spay casting. Perfect weather, just perfect. It was a bit hot in the middle of the day, but six o'clock, it's perfect. It's about 20 degrees. Anyway, so this is just a little ways down, but very deep by the bank and very fast. A bit scary. But if you can cross over to the pebbles, 
on the other side, it's shallow. We can fish this. So, that's first stop. This is just down from the campsite. Now, as you can see, it's really shallow here. It stays shallow all the way down there. Ah. Might get steeper just 30, 40 yards down. And it's certainly wadeable. If there's any fish, such shallow water, and you can cast into that deep current. It's passing the island over there. Zoom in. So. Anyway, keep going. Calms down quite a bit here. So I think I make the trek down tomorrow. It's a lot calmer. And then I'll work my way up the river. So I keep going. So wide and shallow. It's not shallow this is wide. A foot and a half a foot. I use the tracks for here. Right? So it's pretty. It's very wide and shallow now. So I don't see any deep holes. It looks shallow and flat the whole way uh, whole way down. I don't know, it's 6.15, maybe I head back. Crack a cold one. I don't know if I'm doing any more fishing. Fish here, I guess, a little bit. Do you the traps now? I need to get in and out of here. Maybe I'll do that, some trout spy action. Or can I have to go back to get in? So this is the last fish of the day. Bit of trout spy action. Just for the hell of it, just to get some shots. Maybe I'll get some slow-mo. That'd be cool. This is a nice wide river for it. Anyway. myself fishing from up there all right this is going to be a long video clip because I have to hike up there I'm not getting in the river here
Well, I lost that fly, so I have to rig up again. My tip it's a tangle, my leader. So I turn you off, and then when I go back, I think I'll try some slow motion action. Why not? All right, 60p slow motion. Enough slow-mo. The colors will be different. There's no HLG profile on uh, on that one on the 60p. But uh, I've got to say, battery. It's already two-thirds down. Uh, uses a lot of juice. The slow-mo. I might try the. Uh, 
This is a nice stretch of river. I can wander around quite a long, quite a ways here. So I might, uh, I'm gonna stop filming and start fishing and try the, uh, just try the, uh, the Euronymph. I think I have a better shot with the Euronymph than the uh, trout spot. I don't think there's any trout big enough to take that big fly. So, off with you. Give an idea of the landscape, it's gorgeous. Spectacular river. There's uh, snow packed mountains in the back, some snow at least. Anyway. Alright. Alright, I'm heading back. I'm not going to fish after all. I'm too tired. That was such a bad night. So I'm going to be in bed early by 9 or 10. I may not even have a beer. I'm feeling too tired for it. So, and it's quite a trek back. This time I cut across the, the fields or the marshes instead of bushwhacking. So, uh, suddenly just felt it all of a sudden. So turn you off and then uh, change out of my waders. And then I have a cold one or two, but no more. And maybe some droning, I doubt it. I'm a little too tired to drone. That requires concentration. All right, but you got some fly fishing action today. Fished all of about three hours, I guess, give or take. Not much, but tomorrow is a big day. So, anyway. Well, the beers are cold. Not ice cold, but cool. So that worked, putting in the water. Oh, oh, oh. Stiff, it's bored. Let it come to the small girls. Nej, det ser jag inte så fort till. Var det två fridningar igen? Ja, ja, det faller. Det var det eller tyborg. Inte stor utfall. Men jag är det. Det smakte. Där den. Huvudet så den inte ramlar. Jeg skal ikke kjøpe noe mer øl nå, det må holde meg gående i to drar. Vi har åtte til sammen. Jeg vil dytte ned. Jeg kommer til å ta meg igjen når... Eller heller det ut. Nå er det veier så mye. For det er en stor kveld. Morgenkveld. Og ikke noe øl siste kveld, men det er bare igjen. Well, that was, considering what a terrible night I had, that wasn't too bad. I actually got about three hours fishing in. Not super, I was filming too, so not huge amounts of fishing, but enough. I caught a fish, a little, like that it went flying, because I'm using barbless hooks. So small, I launched him through the air like three meters anyway funny I think that may be the only kind of fish you get there I don't know if there's any bigger I'd have to fish for longer come here for a week ten days and really fish thoroughly to uh, rule out any big fish the lady at the shop said she caught fish on worms but she didn't say how big they were So uh, I've only caught fiddlers here, and I've been fishing here for 25 years, but not only once every three or four years I fish here. Well, I haven't fished here for about five years. Last time was autumn 2018 or something, or 2019 maybe. I'm not sure, a long time ago. So I've actually only fished here like four or five times, including way back when I was just learning fly fishing. 
to, I'll turn you off because this modeling isn't too exciting to watch. It's just me drinking beer. No poop. So I have to get up then. Uh, don't fall. Still a bit damp this morning. Yes, Good thing I'm wearing waders. I have to get out and struggle out of them at some point. Uh, not yet though. Hold my beer first, then I'll get out of my waders. Well, the sun's disappeared and it's almost quarter past nine and it's getting cold, so... <laughs> mm. I have to put on a shirt and a jacket and start making dinner. Which is another really all too much. But I'll... Since this is warts and all, I'm going to show you that pain in the butt it is taking off waders and then struggling into your boots without getting your feet sopping wet when you're camping in a marsh so I'll turn you off now because I have to go for a pee but then I'll start it again so I'm standing on my backpack so my socks don't get soaked I only got two pairs of socks Are neoprene, so it doesn't matter if they go in the marsh. There's one. Sims waiters, there's a plug for them. They're great. G3 guides. Ten years old, and they'll probably last me the rest of my life. And then here's the trick part. Not getting my socks wet. Oh, this is such a pain. I have to sit down. Ah. Grown. Stun. Ah, there's one. Ah, feet off the marsh. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna have to get my boots on. It's really tight. Because the goddamn Italian boots go to meet them. Hey, cazzo fai, Arne. Come stai. Ah. So. <coughs> this is going to be really hard in 10 years. <coughs> Then my backpack. Get water for the stove, get my dinner going. Ah, uh, 
Oh, no. Well, let's do it. I'm too old to turn around the shoes. I'm going to bend over. Alright. Turn you off. I'm in the uh, battery for the, uh, for you. Spare battery is charged. So I'll switch batteries and start charging the one that's in you right now. Anyway. Oh. Got to get a shirt and a sweater on. As soon as the sun goes down behind those hills, it's cold. So that must be the good battery bank. One of them is bad. Uh, but it's only at uh, 53%. One of them dies as soon as it gets to 50%. I'm not sure. So they only last me like three or four days. Four or five days, really. So anyway. Okay. So what's for dinner tonight? Good question. We have cod, harsh can claim it curry sauce, curry sauce. The dinner last night was moldy, I think. It was so bad. Couldn't eat it. I only had three spoons, so I went to bed hungry. That's why it was so cold. We have kebab grita. Kebab stew. That could be really bad. We have chicken tikka masala. I think that's going to be all right. Might have that one, I think. And then we have. Actually, we'll do this one: chicken curry, chicken curry. Safe. I think we do chicken curry. It's probably with some dehydrated rice. So there it is. Chicken curry it is. And the salmon broccoli pasta tastes alright, very bland, but they're not big enough. So you get a bit hungry. So chicken curry. And then I have to refill the water. here and then get the jet boil on you can see it there so I have to get some more water I throw about the jet boil on my Adirondack Mountain Club Nalgene bottle anyway all right so I'm to tie this up The foils are great. Time it. Exactly 9.30. See how long it takes to cook. And there we go, chicken curry. So fill line. Eat. There's no fill line. Huh? Really? No fill line. Anyway, really, I 
There's no fill line. Nothing. Have a look. So just eyeball it, I guess. And they, they always take a little more than the 10 minutes that's recommended. So there's a lot about Northern Norway and expeditions and teams of chefs and so on, but no fill line and no instructions on how to use it. So anyway, I'll turn you off until I do the deed. There is a fill line. It's here. Didn't see that. Okay, now we know. All right. Whoops. So that took a full thing. Actually took about five minutes, four minutes. So anyway. Try and see if we can get the two line right. A little bit more. Alright, got enough for coffee tomorrow. And then get your magic spoon. Titanium. Has to be. Doesn't look properly. It has to be a long spoon. That's the only thing that really matters. This has got dried chicken bits and curry and rice. And I see some chili flakes. And I think I've scraped the bottom enough. So, that's no, not too bad. And that's way better than the chili con carne, which is moldy. We've gone off. Close. All right. So time it. It's now 9:35. 9:45. We can eat. All right. That's about 12 minutes. That should be enough. Eat it while it's hot. So I've had this one before, I think, but I can't remember. If it's any good, chicken curry, got to be pretty safe, you think. There's a bit chilly there. Not bad. Better than that moldy chili con carne anyway. So this should keep me nice and warm tonight. It was freezing last night. So I hadn't had any food in 36 hours. Plus I had a few beers. My sleeping bag is a summer bag. It's not very warm. I stayed out in the cold. You know, it's just a t-shirt. So, stupid. And the result of that is that I was sleeping in foster stilling in, what do you call it, fetal position until 3.30 in the morning. I finally fell asleep. And then I was still up every half hour to try and warm up. And I finally woke up again at 7.30 and then couldn't sleep. So, that was an abortion. So I'll do it right tonight. Not too many beers. I may limit myself to three. Hot dinner eat all of it and then I may have some Dorito chips I need water go to bed early go to bed at 10.30 or something I 
main thing is to go to bed. Make sure you pee before you go to bed, because that gets you keeps you cold. You have to pee. And then hot dinner. Do some jumping jacks. Plenty of calories to keep you warm throughout the night. Good. Well, this is more or less the end of day two for a stay fishing. One peddler to show for it. There's my cozy tent. I've crept into my sleeping bag early and I only had three beers. I've got plenty of water here, so you should be fine charging batteries. The uh, Lumix batteries this time. I saw a tick on my spork. That's not cool. There's no animals here. There's no, there could be some moose, some elk, elk. Uh, and obviously there's ptarmigan, a few beer uh, birds, and there could be a few hares. There's not a whole lot of wildlife though, so where those ticks come from, I don't know. But uh, I've seen quite a few ticks since I came here. I'm wearing permethrin, not impregnated, but impregnate. That's bad Norwegian English. Uh, permethrin soaked or treated, treated clothing. Uh, but it's quite old now, so I'm not sure how well it works. But both my shirt and pants are ex officio permethrin treated clothing. It's supposed to be in the fibers, so it should last longer, but I probably need to buy some permethrin spray to be out in the bush much but I just still I got my Ticovac my TB vaccine the first one so I don't know how effective it is after a week I think you have to have all three before you're immune and it doesn't help against bor borreliosis or whatever they call it uh, Borrelia uh, and then you just have to go on antibiotics straight away if you get a red ring around the tick bite. So uh, there's not too much TB around here in the west coast yet. There's lots in the south of Norway, around Oslo and around the border with Sweden, which is not very cool. So there, a lot of people are vaccinating themselves. I didn't even feel it when I got vaccinated and I had no side effects. So strongly recommend it if you go in the bush. A bit expensive at 550 kroner, but worth it. So I can get another, my second vaccine, my booster in a month, or even less than that. And then five months from then, I get my third booster. So, cool. So, uh, anyway, finally early to bed, and I'm warm. I had a hot dinner, I'm full. I've got Dorito chips outside the the tent. If I get hungry in the middle of the night, it's going to be cold again, but warmer than last night. Last night was really cold, really cold. I mean, plus five, but I went to bed with no food. I hadn't eaten in 36 hours, so of course I was freezing. And I had a couple beers and sat out all night with the t-shirt. So. Uh, I should sleep much, much better tonight. Anyway, my GoPro batteries are charged. Which is charging the last uh, Lumix battery. And then I have to charge my phone. Because it's at 50%. But these gigantic 30 milliampere uh, battery banks seem to be lasting. They didn't on the last trip. But I may have the good one. 
And there's one bad one that dies after it gets to 50%. Goes straight to zero. Cheapies. The huge. I had two kilos of battery bags. No wonder my pack weighed a ton. So where's the other one? I'm not sure where it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's a 100%, so now battery banks to spear. But I have to charge a lot of batteries. I mean, you, the GoPro, takes quite a bit of battery. Charging three of those. And then the Lumix uses quite a bit of battery. They're quite high ampere, uh, uh, milliamp hour uh, batteries. I should really get another couple of them, but they cost 990 kroner each. So it's so much cheaper to buy a battery bank and just charge them every night. But I still might get a couple more because two of them last me a day if I'm doing intensive video filming. Especially